Hello, I am Claudia Zanini. It's a pleasure to participate in this event, Arts and Therapies in Time of the Pandemic. I would like to thank you for this special invitation. In the moment in which we live, it's possible to perceive the importance of art either by producing, by enjoying, through the possibilities of exchanging artistic experiences and by being cared for through art. Thus, the creative essence of the human being is maintained. This is how humanity is built since the beginning. Arts brings the essence of people. Here, as speakers in the event, we have professionals related to different forms of art and representing eight countries from different continents. Scattered throughout the world, in the same way, at this moment, we have people looking for ways to combat isolation, fear, loneliness, depression, longing, sadness, their mourning, collective mourning of the city, their country, or the world. Stress, post-traumatic stress, anxiety, anguish, and unpredictability in relation to tomorrow. We know that not everyone feels this way all the, the time, but there are many people experiencing different feelings in the same day, showing a mood variabil variability. So, as therapists through art, in my case, music therapies, we can over, offer means and forms of a psychic exchanging to develop resilience, to support and welcome the patient's pain, to support families, to contribute to the well-being of the population, to take care of the health team and the professionals who work with essential services. But what is health? To the World Health Organization, health is defined not only as the absence of disease, but as a situation of perfect physical, mental, and social well-being. Consider the context presented in the face of the pandemic period, it is essential to justify the whole of music as a therapeutic element. Moreover, I will present the definition of music therapy, considering that we have listeners who are not music therapists. Next, I will address examples of actions that have been developed by music therapists, including Latin American professionals. Music throughout history has played an important role in the trajectory of humanity and in the processes that involve society's development. It is admitted that music permeates the entire trajectory of being from its interuterine experience to its final moment of life. There, is a life story and therefore a sound musical story coexists, an important aspect to be considered in the performance of the music therapists. Another aspect that brings the possibility of music as a therapeutic element is the policy, polysemic nature, which is the possibility of attributing several meanings to the music phenomenon, considering, for example, both the hearing of a previously composed song and the sonorous creation in the music therapy session itself. Thus, we can give meanings from the those related to biography to those related to the culture where the patient is inserted. These authors are Brazilian. Benesson, Argentine music therapist brings from an outsider the concept of sound identity 
which is a psychocorporal concept where culture and the ecosystem are integrated. It is a multisensorial identity which includes not only sound, music, movement, silence, but also gestures, odors, textures, temperature, and many other components is still unknown that are part of nonverbal communication. For the auto, there are several sound identities and the Gestalt sound identity brings the set of sounds and music that permeates the life of the being from the interuterine phase to finitude. Therefore, each human being has sound identities that characterize him, her, and differentiate him, her, from the other, which can be used to intervene and analyze the music therapeutic process. And what about the relationship between music and brain? Music therapy works essentially because of the way music stimulates the entire brain. In addition to this stimulation, music also touches people emotionally. With this advancement, of neuroscience and neuroimaging exams, we know that play and listening to music works in several areas of the brain. Depending on the music activity, we realize that new areas are involved, as you can see on the figure. Cognitive functions are a basic element of human behavior. They are composed of capacities and process related to the intellect which function in hierarchical, coordinated and articulated way, the main ones being attention, memory and executive functioning. Ulrich explained that from neurological research, we know that we first react emotionally to sounds connecting to the all other part of the brain. Later, the cognitive part of the brain gets involved. Then we are able to perceive the content of words. Based on all this therapeutic potential of music, music therapy has been defined over the years due to its applicability. This is the most current definition of the World Federation of Music Therapy. Music therapy is the professional use of music and its elements as an intervention in medical, educational, and everyday environments with individuals, groups, families, or communities who seek to optimize their quality of life and improve their physical, social, communicative, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual health and well-being. Research, practice, education, and clinical training in music therapy are based on professional standards according to cultural, social, and political contexts. So, as a music therapist, how can we, con we oh, continue your care even in times of pandemic, there was a movement by professional entities to support music therapists in their actions and interventions. Information was also released on the general use of music by the population, thinking about society in general and mainly caregivers. According to the information on the, uh, on the World Federation of Music Therapy site, the Global Crisis Commission of the Federation was asked for support in designing a flyer to help take the message of how music can help everyone in these difficult times as we experience a global pandemic of COVID-19 
which has affected our lives and our ways of going about our daily routines. They explain that as we face many challenges in our daily lives and in our profession, music will be the ground on which we can firmly step to face the change to come. The flyer is available in 17 languages on the World Federation website. The title is, We Invite You to Make Music with the World. They suggest some experience with pet music and explain that this, these actions create brain activity that supports mental and physical health. The quoted experiences are deep breathing and body awareness, listening to music, singing songs, and making music and dancing. Here in Brazil, the Brazilian Union of Music Therapy Associations, UBAM, published a resolution in the official diary of the union, official government press agents, with the national the guidelines for music therapy assistance mediated by information and communication technologies, ICTs, giving direction and permission for online care in times of pandemic. Music therapists who decide to use ICTs must complete a registration form. It is a way of applying what is called telehealth. I participated in the preparation of the document since I am from Urban Ethics Council. Other countries have also published guidelines. This is the page of the British Association of Music Therapy dedicated to the pandemic. The Latin American Music Therapy Committee translated the Brazilian guidelines and adapted it to guide music therapists in Latin America. Some examples of actions developed of, by professionals from our continent now. This is a university extension project, music for the ones who take care in support of health professionals who care for patients with COVID-19. The objectives are to honor, to encourage self-care, to provide relief, cheer, and connection through music. Health professionals ask for music and can dedicate it to other professionals. The songs are filmed and posted on social networks by teachers and students of music therapy at the Federal University of Minas Gerais. An Argentine music therapist, Karina Ferrari, has maintained with her team of professionals and intern students, a channel and a profile on social media about hospital music therapy. It is the Clinical Music Therapy in Hospitals program from the University of Buenos Aires. They publish service protocols, give lectures, online seminars, and share scientific articles. This is an ebook that they made with information about the use of music by music therapists, caregivers, and the com community in general in this pandemic period. In the universe contest, I have made some brief interventions to welcome teachers and students in online meetings, encouraging self-perception and self-care to promote health. My objective is that the participants turn to themselves due to the fact that at this moment, we have so many stimuli and external demands that can generate anxiety, stress, etc. I believe that self-perception and self-care leads to self-expression of feelings and needs. 
this is the promotion poster of one of the meetings organized by the Dean of Students Affairs in which I made an intervention. Now I will present a short video from the end of a service of the extension project that I coordinate, that is music therapy in the multi-professional team of the Hypertension League from the Federal University of Goiás Hospital. Music therapy happens with a health education perspective to prevent crucial problems as we must face chronic non-transmissible diseases, cardiovascular risk factors, and other factors from the, this universe. The main objective is to present, prevent the increase of multimorbidities. Thinking about one's life trajectory, we can have countless possibilities and needs that music therapists can accommodate in care by information and communication technologies. Will these sessions be synchronous, live, or will guidance for the activities be given to the caregivers in charge of the patient and their feedbacks considered? Will the sessions need the pres presence of family or professional caregivers beside the patients? For the music therapists, always focused on the therapeutic objectives, it's necessary to evaluate, plan, apply, reflect on the application, and review objectives for each online session. Verifying existing resources and the possible setting is part of the planning. Recognizing the soundscape of the two environments, the music therapist and the patient can minimize possible interference. What can I demand from the patient? What could be expected in terms of attention, perception, memories. For each musical experience, it is required a careful look and a sensitive music therapeutic listening. We know that different forms of, in of intervention are being conducted, but unfortunately, we don't have time to discuss here all of them. Another objective of the music therapist in this phase has been to hold brief sessions with health professionals, even in the environment of hospital and outpatient care. The mental health of these workers needs to be taken care of. There are a lot of pains experienced, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears and disturbances in the sleep stages. 
all of this in addition to physical tiredness. Thus, in these spaces, the music experiences defined by Bircher are used according to the needs of each professional or group to promote resilience and life quality. Thinking about the therapeutic potential of music, our work certainly brings countless possibilities due to the diversity of areas of activity of different settings. We must always remember that each professional, due to their theoretical foundation in the therapeutic approach, will seek to achieve therapeutic goals through music therapy, aiming to contribute to living in times of pandemic with creativity, science, and ethical awareness in action. Finally, I want to remember the need for each of us as professionals to seek our own forms of self-care, physical care, mental and spiritual care. I wish everyone a lot of health, a lot of air. I look forward to make this kind of contact again. These are the references I use it, and I am available for questions by email. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share some ideas with you.